Welcome to our second tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to deal with text. We want to see how we want to deal with text in CorelDRAW. This is just a window that brings for us a new document. I'll not change the settings. So they are come with the same settings. Let's say you want to work with an A4 document. Sometimes you can use CorelDRAW to work on text, to work with text, especially in working on small magazines, maybe small books. You can work with all types of sizes easily, A4, A3, A2, whichever size that you want. So sometimes you can work with text. I want us to look at the overview of how to work with text. First of all, we have to know the size of our document. How do we uh, put the size of our document? First of all, to put the size of your document, if you know the size, you just select on a rectangle tool. Then you draw to, f uh, maybe let's say you want your document to be like a, uh, 20 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Maybe extend it a little bit and reduce it that. So this is the, the size of your document. Let's say you want to type a letter, you want to start a page of a magazine. So you want to first of all to determine the size of that particular uh, document. After drawing a rectangle like this, we won't be using this rectangle all through. So we put a guide to it. When you want to put a guide so that we remove this rectangle, you just left click, left click on that. If your mouse is set to that, you drag that. Then you have a guide there. You have another guide there. If you want to do the horizontal guides, you just use those ones at the top and that. Now you can let go that particular, you can delete that particular uh, rectangle then you now have your guides. We want to lock our guides so that we have there's something I, I forgot to do. Control Z just undo. So I want to put this particular rectangle at the center so that uh, my document is centered. I just select on this uh, select this particular text box then I press P on the keyboard. When you select an object and press P on the keyboard, the document becomes whatever you have selected is centered on the page. So I'm sure that my document is on the center. Now I can drag my guides to fit. I can drag my guides. Yes, now I can delete that rectangle and know that my document will be center. For me not to change this particular guides, I need to lock this guy so that they remain stationary. So I right click on each of the guides and I say uh, lock object. I right click on that and I say lock object. I right click that as well and I say lock object. I right click that and again I say lock object. So you cannot move these guides even if it's ac ac accidentally. This ensures that your document remains stationary. So I want us now to draw the text book. We begin by simply drawing a text box. How do we draw a text box where we type our text? We click on the text box tool. By click on this or you press F8. Then we draw our text box. You drag it according to the size that you want to fit those guides that you made. Just to fit those guides that you made. Yes. Now you can start typing anything. Alternatively, if you don't want to type, probably you have some uh, text that you want to import from another uh, uh, another maybe a word processor or so. You just select that and then you paste. I had, I, I had uh, copied some text from Microsoft Word, so I'm just pasting. You see, it asks you whether you want to maintain the font that you are uh, copying from uh, the other program, maybe Microsoft Word. You want to maintain formatting only. This is to do with formatting. CorelDRAW 16 has come a new thing that is import tables as tables. If you have tables, for example, in your Word document and you've copied from Word, then you want to maintain those table formats, you import the table as tables, then you'll have your tables remain just as they were in the other program. So I say OK. When I say OK, it pastes the text that is, was in my Word document just the way it is. So I want us to look a little bit about how we can format text in uh, CorelDRAW. Let us start with selecting this particular text box. So when I select the pick tool, this is the pick tool, it selects this particular text box that I have here. So you can do all the formattings that you want. These are the formattings. You can format character, you can format paragraph just like in Word, you can format the frame, this old frame, we can uh, 
have a summary of that particular paragraph here so you might want to change the details now let us start by formatting of character and see what goes on in the formatting of character if you select all this particular text box using the pick tool then you can change here is where you change the font list you can select a font from here if you want to change the all, all font then you select the font from here here you select the font style so when you select on these it gives you what you're supposed to pick there then here we have the the text color the text color let me maybe change that to yellow you see it changes to yellow the text color changes to yellow so that one you can use to change the color of the text that you have it changes to red yeah let me revert it to the original black then this is the background fill just like the normal background fill it fills the background of that particular text this is the outline this is a strange thing that this one is not found in microsoft word and many other word editing uh, softwares let's magnify a bit this by uh, how do I magnify this I just by I have a mouse which has the scroll button in the middle just by dragging up and down you can mini uh, you can maximize zoom in and zoom out you can make it bigger the text appear bigger the way you want by using the uh, scroll button on my mouse on all your mouse alternatively you can use the the view in the view menu you can use the zoom tool you can use the zoom tool in the in the view menu all right alternatively as well this you can use to fit you can fit it you can put the percentage that you want so there are so many ways you can learn by just moving over your mouse at every of those functionalities that we have for zooming so let's say what I want us to do now it the other functionalities in the character that you can use like for example here you can use the caps if I select for example that text I've selected the text by double clicking on it left double clicking so let's say I want this text to be all caps you see it becomes all caps so this is just to make it all caps small caps you see small caps like that then small cast from caps like that so you can play about with these things the, the ones that are selected the other thing that I need us to look at here is this uh, position tool let's say you want for example you type 2 squared when you want to type 2 squared what you do is just to uh, select select the 2 